this morning the uh, service was done on water heater and all that and I didn't really do like an intro to kind of explain what's going on so it just jumps right into showing some of that stuff so here's here's the intro for that like the next few clips are from the service and then I go on to explain it and stuff This is the back of the fridge. I just turned it off so I can clean it out. But you can see like a little wasp nest down in there. And this is the back of the water heater, which he already like kind of cleaned it out. Now he's gonna flush it. To change it out before the gone oh, crap. Yeah. So. And they, I read it's like every one to three years or something. I'm helpful. I run around and turn the water on and off. Kick in these phone calls and they're not leaving voicemails and I don't answer the phone if you haven't noticed. Oh. <laughs> I'll, I'll like, if, if I know, like if I text you and you call and I see it, I'll answer. But like if I don't know who the person is, I'm not going to. Yeah. This one kind of looks like a brain. White? My camera's not. Oh, and there's a insulation on that one. They were in there. Yeah. Cause like, I feel like she got the better end of the deal. Oh, she got the, the sweet end of the deal. Mouse, mouse stuff, furnace, no worky. So there's a bunch of video clips from uh, when the maintenance is being done and I now have hot water Ooh, and I'm gonna go take a shower right after I'm done recording this. I can't wait. It's been eight days. And um, the, whatchamacallit, the fridge has some parts that need to be replaced but there's, there's old and need to be replaced like the uh, igniter and stuff. So he's gonna order those parts. A uh, hot water heater looks pretty good. The uh, you could see in that clip of the video, the rod uh, wasn't actually that bad. But the fact that it was smaller, you know, shows that it has like wear. So I didn't I didn't realize that it actually like it literally wears down. It's not like it just gets so corroded. It like it gets smaller and smaller. So that was pretty cool. That was cool to see that. Um, and the furnace, it works. It's uh, a little wobbly, like it's vibrating a lot and the, the fan sounds like it's hitting a little bit. So it's probably got a, an end of life at some point, but hopefully not for a while. Um, but there's no power to the thermostat. There's power in the lines at the furnace and at the source, but there's no power to the thermostat and there's a really big... A mouse nest in there and so he's thinking like because it's right where the wires are that the wire got chewed through or something um so he's gonna come back next week on tuesday and run a new wire and he's getting me a new thermostat because this one is like funky like the numbers look at this the numbers are upside down it's weird like, I'm, I've never had one that the numbers always go the opposite direction, and I don't know, it's, it, it just kind of, it's by Honeywell, but it must just be old or particular, or I don't know. So he's just going to give me, like, a, a new, a modern, old school style one, and, uh, we were talking about the seals for the, the slide outs, and... I need to think about it. He's going to get me the prices on the part so I can make like an edumacated decision. But I may just put tarps up uh, for winter. And then, you know, uh, fix it next year. So just save up for it. And uh, just kind of, yeah. 
He also said that I had the option, like, for the, the underbelly, if I wanted, I could pull the underbelly off and just leave it off. But then I wouldn't have any insulation, and if, if when I move the RV again, there would be no protection from, like, rocks bouncing up or anything like that. So, I don't... I could see the the allure to like not putting more mesh back on but I'm not it's not appealing like it feels like not doing the job correctly you know and uh, I would much rather just pull it off clean it all out seal up anywhere that needs to be sealed up underneath there uh, to keep mice from actually getting into the RV as much as possible and then put down like new insulation and and hopefully be able to seal that up to kind of keep the mice from making a new new home in there. I was kind of curious if there's like a different type of insulation that I could use instead of the fluffy stuff that maybe would not be as alluring two mice to live in it as well so that's something that I'm gonna look into because maybe maybe there's something that's maybe not as effective insulation wise but more effective in preventing this from happening again because it's 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 a pretty bad issue it's all over the place like the poor RV just was completely thoroughly innuated into into innuated that's not the word. That's the word, but it's not the word. It's really close to that word. You know what I mean? Um, so I would I would like to prevent that from happening again. And in theory, I should start caulking today because the sun is out. So I'm going to see how I feel because I'm really tired, but I need to shower and and um, kind of see because I just, I don't know about going up on a ladder when I'm this tired. It just feels like I'm, you know, but my son and I talked about the underbelly work and I may pay him to do it because the RV tech charges 150 an hour, you know, as I've mentioned before, and um, I could pay him, you know. Um, more like a handyman's price, you know, not to say that my son isn't worth like millions of dollars per hour, but that work is not worth that much. And he would, you know, because he's a noob, he would be learning as he goes. And so, you know, it would be fair to charge like a handyman's price. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll have him help me with the caulking as well. And just pay him to do that and um, save my body some of the, you know, and then I can be annoying and make video of him doing it. And, um, you know, I, I have pride. I do have pride issues around like, well, I got to do stuff myself. But one of the things that I've been trying to be better about and learning how to do is to like accept and utilize help. And it's easier for some things like when I'm moving, getting help moving my stuff, that's like a no-brainer, right? Like getting people to help with that. But like things that like I could do myself in theory, asking for help with that is like, it's harder because then I feel like somehow I'm, I'm failing or I'm being a poser or something and I have to like really like think about that think about the priorities of of what it is I'm doing you know what's more important you know getting it done and trashing my health or getting it done and putting a little bit of money in somebody else's pocket and not trashing my health so that I can take care of other things you know because even like my crafting stuff, like making stuff, all of that wipes me out too. Like I'll have like a day where I'm like crafting and then I'm in bed for like three days. So, you know, it, every single thing I do, I'm making a choice to not do something else. So when I make the choice to do the, the caulking and get up on the 
ladder and do all that shit. I am, you know, I'm making the choice to be wiped out and be tired and feel sick for like days on end, knowing that it's going to accumulate into the fatigue that I'm currently feeling that I need like weeks of rest to pull out of. And um, I'm not good at resting, if that's not obvious. You know, it's not, uh, it's not my strong suit. Like, I like to be doing things. I like to be productive. I like to feel useful. I like to feel capable. And yeah, so I'm going to talk to him about it and see, you know, what, um, what he thinks, like, what do you, if he would be willing to do that and, uh, Maybe it's something we can work on together. So I'll do some of it and then I'll feel better about it. Um, and then it also, you know, won't cost me as much. It's, a, it's, it's been hard, like, getting used to the fact that I have to basically, like, pay, to, pay for everything. Like, I used to do my own work on my vehicles, like oil changes and stuff like that. And, um, when I stopped being able to do that, it was, it was really hard to take my vehicle to the shop and to pay for it. And I had to kind of like tell myself, well, it's like, it's kind of like people going and getting their nails done or something kind of like made this joke out of it that, you know, but, um, it's really with the stuff, with the RV stuff, like I want to, I want to do it all myself. I want to be like this badass RV person, but you know, maybe just having the knowledge that it needs to be done and knowing how it should be done and knowing, you know, knowing how to recognize that it's done correctly and participating and being involved at that level. Maybe, maybe that's enough, you know, like, I'm not just, like, going to have an RV tech come out and they're just going to tell me whatever and blow smoke up my ass. You know, like, I'm going to know what needs to be done and then I'm going to be able to tell that they're doing it correctly and they're doing a good job and they're not full of shit. Like, you know, but I'm still having to pay them, but I'm knowledgeable. Maybe that's enough. You know, it doesn't feel like enough, but... It's not nothing. So I'm gonna hook up the propane detector, carbon monoxide detector. Uh, I already stripped the wires. My son helped me do. It. I was trying to use the wire strippers, and they were not working. So we just used a knife. I don't. I don't understand wire strippers. Like when I used to make Ethernet cables, like. They, the same thing, the strippers never worked. So you'd always end up doing it manually with knives and just, it was so much easier and faster. So like, what's the point of the wire strippers? I don't know, maybe they work for some people, but not for me. So anyway, I'm gonna go turn off the power. RV Tech was like, you don't need to turn off the power, just blah, 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 blah. And I'm gonna turn power off. I didn't used to be an electrician like him. Electricity makes me really nervous. He's like, oh, if you get a little shock, it's okay. No, <laughs> it's not okay. I, uh, I just, I, I would like to, to just do it and not have it be fun when I do it, so. I don't know if I need to turn off the inverter, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyways even though the remote's set to off I just I don't know you know I don't understand how things work well enough to feel confident in trusting my assumption that it's safe like it might not even matter because that's they're not even the same system that's the AC system and not the the DC system right but just better safe than um Sorry. Also, I have a very fancy toilet. It's like a 
ceramic, whatever, RV toilet. If anyone wants it, to pay shipping, you can have it. I already turned off everything inside, so nothing's gonna get a surprise. Oh, the smell down here is awful. Okay, that is off. I saw that lens flare. Did you see that lens flare? All right, that's the hole. And I'm gonna get the light here. And then these are the cords here. And the internet says to do the do the do the ground first. Put the light here. It's a little better for me. Well, it's not really better for me, but it's pretty twisty. Like somebody, somebody got excited when they were twisting that up. Um. Okay. This has got the. I don't know if this is the kind of twisty that has the. Let's twist them together. Somebody's gonna be like, no, this looks awful. What are you doing, Lee? I don't know what I'm doing. Also, I'm not left-handed, so this is awkward. Okay. Righty tidy. one is done. No cord sticking out the bottom. Okay. Ooh, my light is dying. I'm on a time limit. This looks like they added an extension to these. It got a little... Oh, why is this so on there? There we go. This has got the little crimp on there. Uh, the same kind. Before the light runs out. Parallel. Amos, I do not need your help right now. Wait, did I twist it the wrong way last time? Maybe it's supposed to be... I can't remember. Can't even the lighting is getting too dim because the battery's dying on this and I can't really see it that well now because I need high contrast because I have old person eyes. They were twisted together. The internet has debate about twisting and not twisting, and it really depends on whether or not these have the twisty thing. I don't know what that looks like inside, but I read that it doesn't hurt to twist it even if you don't need to. So I just did it anyways. The ones I saw online that had the twisty thing, I really don't like it that's sitting right there because that's like temptation for a cat. Um, the ones that had the twisty things, they were like blue on the inside. And all right, found my found the screws. I had to pause and go find those. And now I need to. Is this not? It should align with the holes. It's the exact same size as the other one. Okay, there we go. Yeet. Yeet. Eh. Eh. <laughs> and I, yeah, I make those noises all the time when I'm doing stuff.
these holes are, <laughs> they're not, oh, well, that's not even in there. What the deuce? Is this side? this side. It's crooked, so I think I just missed the hole. Wait, I'm wearing my PJ pants right now, and they do not respect the booty. They are like, if there was anybody here, they would be in full show, and I would be like, I am sorry for the nightmares you are about to have. Yeah, these holes are pretty, pretty worn. You can see this one's not even. I'm just gonna, I don't know what's happening right now, but <laughs> it's like, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that for now and I will come look at it later and fix it as needed. But it's not, it's not going to go anywhere. I, I want to, I really want to, like, tape this or something. And now, to put my shoes on, I keep putting them on the carpet, even though I got this area rug here for shoes. Listen. Oh, it didn't do it. So now I'm going to go. Turn on the power. I got the power. On. And then set this to remote. Yes. And then close the door. Although I need to come back out here to get grocery or grocery soap yes that makes perfect sense um dish soap okay so let's see if there's power actually wait hold on let me turn on the fridge first on eh. it's gonna come on any second now boom Uh, it's flashing. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna have to RTFM. I don't know if it's supposed to be constant or if a flashing green is actually, like, the correct thing. This says I should test it once a week. Ew. I'm gonna have to go test it, though. I'm gonna- I gotta put my- my earphones on. Okay, so it says flashing green. There's no sound. It's a warm-up cycle that takes about 10 minutes, so that's normal. So after the 10 minutes, or when it's it's um, solid green, then I will push the button to test it. Um, it's just such a simple thing. Lots of people do it all the time. There's people that just like don't even think twice about it, but I'm super proud of myself because I haven't ever done that. I mean, I've done wiring on vehicles, like, I rewired a harness for a friend after he crashed his motorcycle, but I've never done it in this kind of context, and I've kind of, like, intentionally avoided it. Like, I look at it and be like, yeah, I'm sure I could do that, but I don't want to because of anxiety, and um, I just did it, and I was a little nervous, but I did it anyways, and so far, it seems like it's working, so, woo, and when the next one comes in, the other one that's back ordered comes in I'll be able to do that one myself and in the future I can do it myself and I am now going to go add a reminder for replacement in five years assuming it doesn't give me the end of life sob story before then I gotta put my shoes on again because I got a package and I gotta go I gotta go pick it up the um I, I got a step for those 
the stairs. It was on sale, and I really need it because that bottom step, like, gets me my, um, I'm not good at being patient and doing, like, a, a gentle step down, and because of the arthritis in my feet, it's kind of, a. You know, like it's okay on everything else, but it's also annoying that I can't reach the door from the ground. And the, if you're at the bottom step, uh, the door opens too wide to open it. So then you have to step up, open the door, step back down, open the door the rest of the way, and then step back up. And I went with groceries and it just... It just makes sense and it seems safer to just have a step at the bottom. Something else I need to get and invest in is more of these. Um, the middle one fell off on the trip here, so I just I just need to get a new set. Or if they sell them in singles, I'll just get a single one. And when I say get, I kind of mean put stuff on my wish list. Somebody is at the door. Let's see who it is. It's my Hello. All right, I put the step in. Dun, dun. Okay, well, it works. It doesn't feel as stable as I expected, but yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna test it. I got these on with the noise canceling on so it won't be as loud because I'm a wuss. Where is the button? Oh, the mouse smells so bad down here. So, it worked. Yay, I did it. Woohoo! And hopefully I'll sleep a little better because I have been having really bad anxiety startle starts instead of sleeping well. So you have a smoke detector, have the carbon monoxide and the propane all working. I'm going to have some more coffee. The water still has a smell and it's gotten a little bit worse today, so... I am going to be treating the water system again. I've read that sometimes you need to do it twice. Uh, it's a little bit annoying, but that's okay. Hopefully it helps. I'm not sure what I'm going to do if it keeps happening because it smells like farts. I mean, gross, you know? And uh, my son and I decided we're going to get smaller propane tanks. I have 40 pounds, two 40 pounds, and transporting them in the back of like a Subaru Crosstrek is not fun. They don't want to stay upright. It's absolutely nerve wracking. And um, they're really heavy and my son can lift them, but it's like awkward. Like the height of it is awkward. Like he's got to like bend weird. So we decided to just switch down to like the 20 pound ones, which I'll be able to lift. And um, I'll just get four of them. So I'll have basically the same capacity, but just in smaller ones that I'll have to change more often. So there's like an inconvenience, but overall will be easier and stuff. So I'm just waiting for the current take to run out and then I'll go get the other tanks and uh initially I thought I was gonna use the exchange service you know like blue rhino or whatever but um I like did the pricing on that and it's about like a ten dollar markup per tank which if say I go through four tanks in a month which is totally possible I could go through more like using the furnace uh that's 40, 50, 60 bucks a month that I don't have to spend if we just make the effort to go get them filled at a filling station instead. Uh, so yeah, I can't, I can't, 
I can't justify that. I don't have 40 or whatever dollars extra. Um, I'm not sure if people always do the math on that stuff. So if that's something that you've ever been like, well, I, you know, I wonder what the difference is. That's the difference, about 10 bucks. And as always, Amos and I, we thank you for hanging out with us during our day of getting stuff done.